Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to tell you all about playable layers, what they mean and what they're for, as well as expressions and what the menu system is. Let's get started. In previous videos, we've gone over how to set up the basics of the avatar descriptor and we've also talked about animation files, how to get those set up. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the playable layers and what each of those layers means. I'm also going to go over a little bit of the expressions menu and tell you about those. So to start, all you have to do is go to your playable layers and click customize and it'll bring down all of these different layers. Now these can be pretty confusing if you don't know what they are, but once you understand it, it's actually a lot easier. So each of these layers controls a different part of animation on your model. So each one of these, if you were to click on this, it's going to request a animation controller. It's going to start out with the default controller if you don't put any animation in here, but what you can do is you can actually put an animation controller that you create and drag and drop it into one of these sections. For your base layer, there's a default controller called default locomotion, and this is basically how you move. So all of your basic movements, such as walking, running, jumping, crouching, crawling, all of those things are going to be in your base layer. You can totally edit this if you want. I'm not going to be editing mine today. I like to just keep the default ones in there, but in the future, I'm sure I will be editing those so that they are more customized. But for now, default locomotion can just stay as your base layer. The additive layer would have a controller that has animations in it, such as small body edits. So let's say you wanted to do something while you're walking. Because the base layer is just for basic walking, your additive layer will add whatever animation you put in this layer onto the base layer. So let's say you wanted to do an animation for your character breathing in and out. You could put that in the additive layer and it would add it to your base layer and then as you walk, crawl, crouch, run, jump, your avatar would still be breathing. Now the VRChat documentation warns against doing too big of animations on your additive layer because it may look funny when you're doing your regular walking and crawling and running and jumping motions because it's going to try and render both animations at the same time. In your gesture layer is where your hand gestures are going to go, anything to do with bone transforms. So if you're going to move anything on this and transform a bone group, like let's say you wanted to move the tail and you had an animation that actually moves the bones of the tail, you would put it in the gesture layer because anything that has a bone transform, which is move, scale, rotate, anything like that is going to go in your gesture layer. Your action layer is basically the replacement for your emotes. This is the layer you're going to put that animation controller. And within that, you're going to put animations that take over the entire avatar, such as like dances or twerking or whatever it is that you put on your avatar normally is going to go in this action layer. This renders all previous layers null while it's in motion. So if you're doing an emote, it won't do your hand gestures, it won't do your additive layer, and it won't do your base layer. It will only do what's being toggled at the time of the action layer. This is also where your AFK mode lives, which is a new feature. So when you take your headset off or you press a key on your keyboard, your avatar will go into an AFK mode that lets people know that you are not online at the moment and you can actually customize this to be whatever you want. Your effects layer is really awesome. It's probably going to be where you spend a lot of time doing some animations. In this animation controller, you will be creating all of your blend shapes. So no transforms in the FX layer. So if you're moving bones like the shape of the hands or anything like that, that's going to go in a different layer. Your FX is just for blend shapes and toggling on and off objects, things like that. So that's how your inventory system is going to work with that animation controller. You can also put a different face on your AFK model with this FX layer. Because if you want to change the blend shapes on your face during your AFK mode, you're going to have to put it on the FX layer. And we'll go over that in the later video. So we've just gone over the different layers and what they mean, and in a future video I'll show you how to set up specific animation controllers to go in each one of these layers so that you can set up your animations exactly how you'd like them. But before we do that, I'm going to talk about the expressions menus. So these are where your animations live on your avatar, and this expressions menu is how you access them in the game. So I'm going to click customize right here, and it's asking for a menu and parameters. Now parameters, if you don't know what those are, these are variables that you want changed when commanded. So let's say you want to add an animation on these jeans. You would need a parameter called jeans in order to affect those jeans 
in your avatar controller. Now I know that sounds a little bit complicated, but I'll be going more over it. That's just a general overview. The menu is actually what comes up in your hand when you hold down your menu button. And this is how you're going to be able to access all of these animations. So in order to create one, I'm going to just go into my animations folder and I have set up a 3.0 controllers folder that I'm going to add all of my things in just for organization. I'm going to leave my animation controllers folder empty for the time being because we're going to go over how to set up all of your animation controllers in a future video. But for right now, we're going to go into my menus folder and my parameters. And I've set these up before. They're just empty folders. You can definitely do this yourself. And the way you create your first menu and parameters is you just right click, go to create, go to VR chat, avatars, expressions menu. And I'm just going to name this top level menu because you can actually create sub menus that are nested underneath this top level menu. For now, we're going to stick with the top level menu and just go with one to make it more simple. I also am going to create VR chat avatars expression parameters and I'm going to call this parameters. And as you can see, once you create your parameters, it brings up all of this list of parameters. So just leave those alone for now. For your top level menu, this is what your menu so far looks like. Active avatar is already probably going to be populated with whatever your avatar's name is. And the controls is basically the buttons on your menu. So when you want to add a control, you just click that. You can name the control. This is what it's going to be called in your menu. Let's just put on emotes right now. In here in the icon section, this is what icon is going to show up in your menu when you open it up. I've actually created a whole group of icons and I have these available for download on my website. I'm going to link it below or you can use one of your own. These are just a resource for you to use. I have a whole bunch of human dancing so I'm just going to put this one. So that little human dancing will show up when you go into your emotes. We're going to go over different types of controls as well as how to set up the rest of this in another video. But for now, you can just know that this control equals a button in your menu. And that's what this menu is for. So now that you have your menu and your parameters, we're going to go back to our main avatar and we're going to drag our top level menu and our parameters into the expression section. And now you're ready to start making the animation controllers for your avatar and adding emotes, gestures, and all those different things. We'll be going over those in the very next video, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.